Hey guys, Josh here. What's up? Welcome back to some more Daisy. And this is just normal Daisy, Daisy Vanilla. But something is different about this. It is a update that has been applied to Daisy. It is now Daisy 1.7.7. Now, it may not sound all that interesting, but if you don't know, they have not released a patch to Daisy Vanilla in quite some time now, and I'm really not all for sure why. But they just never really released patches that much. But they did release a new patch here recently. I woke up this morning, saw that it had been released. It is not on Daisy Commander at the time I'm recording this yet. But I, I assume it will be on there soon. You can update through Steam, I think. But there will also be a link in the description for you if you can't. Um, another thing is the Apex group has hurried up and made a 1.7.7 uh, Daisy server, and that's what I'm playing on right now. There's currently not many people playing the new patch, just because I don't think people realize that it came out yet, because it's very early in the morning, and uh, it, I think it just came out maybe a few hours ago, I'm not for sure. But uh, I will give you guys my first impression, so this is my first look of 1.7. Now, the very first thing that you'll notice when you come in, well, you won't notice unless I tell you this, but if I press insert right now, I get a little journal that pops up here, and I can turn the pages as simple as left-clicking, and this tells me a little thing about myself. So my name is Apex Joshua. I woke up a while ago somewhere in Kaminka, an area of an affected hellhole also known as Chinaris. The date is 6th of June 2012. It's my first day here since waking up on the shore. At least I haven't got any broken bones and I'm in full health. For some reason, I think it's a good idea to wander about without arming myself. Maybe I should try to find a weapon. Now this is your humanity. I'm not for sure how it works. If I had to say anything, maybe this turns red when your humanity's bad. I'm not for sure. Haven't really tried that out yet. Um, so this is my survivor, Apex Joshua here. Uh, blank page, I guess. So this tells me how many zombies I've killed. Obviously, I haven't killed any yet. It tells me how many headshots I've gotten, how many bandits I've killed, how many people I've murdered, and I can just... Uh, switch back through the pages by left click whoa what was that did you guys see that i didn't see that page last time i don't know that's weird but there's a little journal i'm sure it'll become more filled out as i i progress through my life here but yeah so uh i do kind of notice better frames too so maybe they did fix some frames so I'm going to run this way and hopefully get to a bigger town. And while I'm running, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about what I know so far that they've done in this patch. So there is an official change log that you can read and you can go through everything that they did exactly. But I don't feel like sitting here and reading that long ass list to you. And frankly, I don't even read it myself. It's just way too long and uh, boring in my opinion. So if you want to read that, I'm sure you can find that somewhere. So I'm just going to tell you the obvious things that I've noticed from watching people play and from reading a little bit about it so the very first thing that um people will probably notice is zombies zombies are a little bit harder they are not as stupid they do not wander around aimlessly um they will kill you and you can't lose them as easily so kind of reminds me of playing daisy way back when it first came out in a way so uh, zombies are a little bit harder, and I am going the total opposite direction I need to go to to get to Cherno. I feel like a retard. But yeah, these are the zombies, and another thing is, I believe they said they added six new infected zombies, where basically, if you get hit by them, you get a higher percent chance of getting infected, and when you get infected, you will eventually die. You will die, and die of the disease i don't think you turn into a zombie or anything but uh you do die of a disease i think antibiotics still works with uh, getting uninfected but i do believe that there's six of those and they are pretty hard to kill there are zombies that will be easier to kill than others and others that will be harder to die so that's kind of cool i always thought zombies were just kind of this one scenario where they would die the same way each zombie which is kind of cool that they made stronger ones and weaker ones um it makes sense. It does. It does make sense. And I'm pretty happy with the things I've seen so far, but I haven't really got to get into the game and play that much. So 
what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to continue on up this road till I get to Cherno. There's not many people, there's not any people on this server, so I'm not worried about that right now. I'm not really trying to get into PvP. I will get into PvP in the first impressions of 1.7.7, but uh, I'm really worried. Uh, I want to see what they did with other stuff, so I just want to see what they've done with loot and what they've done with other stuff. So uh, I'm more of an adventurer right now, so uh, we will be back when we get to, uh, I, I do believe I will stop in Belota. So we will get to Belota and I will resume filming. Okay, so real quick, I threw a flare down back there. And if you can see, they do not distract zombies anymore. Uh, I do believe that they did distract zombies before, but they do not now. So I don't know, just uh, something I could point out. Maybe that's a bug. Maybe it's just something they need to fix. But uh, I don't know. We will still continue our journey. Alright, so we're making it over here towards the, uh, the airfields now. We do have a few people on the server now, but no one really to worry about. Uh, one is a clan member, so we're alright. Not worried about getting shot and killed yet, but yeah, um, we are almost there. Hopefully they, oh yeah, I did hear that they did put things like more military loot inside of the deer stands. I know that a lot of the deer stands usually didn't have much stuff in it, and that kind of sucked. But I heard that maybe they uh, they increased the loot in it. What is that? What the fuck? Oh, it's a fucking lamb or something. I don't even know what the fuck it was. Let's go over here, though. I want to make sure I'm on direct commune in case I run into somebody. I Whenever I run into somebody, oh my god, look at how many zombies are behind me. This is starting to remind me of Daisy Civilian with all the zombies. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't... Some people are going to hate that the zombies are harder. Some people are going to love that the zombies are harder. In my personal opinion, I kind of like it. I, I actually do. Because the zombies just... They never seem like a threat before. And now we actually have a reason to run away from zombies. And it, it, it adds even more to the atmosphere, I guess you could say that um zombies are harder because before if zombies were there they they were too easy and i don't know they just didn't seem like good zombies <coughs> see if we can't find something around here um i know they didn't i think they said that they might have remodeled some of the guns i'm not for sure like i said i haven't read the change log um this may be just like all they added is a journal, fix some FPS to zombies, and that's it. But uh, I don't know. We may we may figure out exactly what they've done here. Let's see. Is there anything in here? I don't think there is. There's usually not much in these hangars. I usually never find military loot at this airfield, to be honest. I think this is the rarest for military loot out of all the three airfields. Oh shit, see, I'm already getting hit. And one of the things that, um, that is kind of weird is you don't spawn with the really good stuff. You spawn with painkillers, band-aids, and road flares, which is weird enough, road flares. But, um, I do know, oh shit. There's probably a way to customize that on server side of what you start off with. Okay, looks like... I want to say it's a PDW, yeah. So got a PDW now. We got a we got a gun. Switch to my PDW there. Uh, this is a G17. I'm pretty sure. Uh, why do I? I guess you spawn with no backpacks now. That's kind of weird. Okay, I I didn't even notice that about myself. <laughs> I feel stupid because I didn't notice it. Me, I am going to pe keep the PDW though. Let's climb down the slider. Hopefully there's not many zombies down there. May have to do some shooting. And now we are going to head over to Cherno. Please don't hit me. Oh, you did. You hit me. Run, 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 run. Alright, I'm not bleeding. I'm good. So now we're going to head over to Cherno. And see what we can find over there. So I will be back when we are getting closer to Cherno. I'll take that back take that back we will actually um head over here to these tents because I, I i like i said they may have fixed something in the deer stands so i want to see what's over there 
let's see. There's usually not much except for medical supplies over here. And I do know that they have made medical supplies a little bit more scarce than they normally are. Um, I know the boxes, no, I think they said the boxes no longer spawn in the hospitals. Don't for sure quote me on that, but I do think that's one of the things that they said that they changed. Somebody keeps dying. Oh cool, you don't have to vault over this thing anymore. Used to be you had to vault over that to get in. At least on most of the servers that I played on. I want to climb in these deer stands, but with this many zombies, that may not be a good idea. I'll weave through here and see if I can't get rid of them. They, they're they supposed to be harder to get rid of, too, so they're supposed to be smarter. Like, if they see you run into a place, they're so supposedly supposed to follow you. We're just going to start shooting some of these. Ah, oh, fuck me. I go inside. Maybe. Jeez. Ah. See that that they were a little bit harder to kill there. This is probably gonna be the death of me, but I will run up it. Come on. You're just gonna stay in there and get hit by a zombie. And this was not a good idea. This wasn't even worth it. There's. Oh shit. God, they are hard to kill. What the fuck? Come on. No. That was ridiculous. I hope it's not that way on every zombie. Come on, climb down the ladder. Now, see, look. Look at my blood now. There's a little green splosh around it. And I'm coughing. I'm infected right now, so... I need some antibiotics, so maybe we can go to the hospital and, um get some antibiotics because if not i'm gonna die i don't know how long it takes but i'm sure it don't take long so stop fucking around here i will be back when we get to cherno and i thought i would show you guys something cool out below though but instead we got ass raped by zombies but i guess it works out because i get to show you what the infected thing looks like so uh we'll be right back all right all right so we're heading into cherno now Still got a nice line of zombies, which I guess just show you how persistent they are. Followed me all the way from pretty much below toe to here, so. I'm still coughing like I got fucking tuberculosis, so it's not good, but hopefully we can solve that issue here in a minute. Hopefully we can find antibiotics. If not, we have to go to Electro, and that's going to suck even worse. Ugh. Fucking zombies just following me everywhere I go. Can't get no motherfucking rest in this world. Oh shit. Still, you still get bad frames coming into Cherno though. That's for damn sure. And that is for damn sure. Alright, we're gonna head into the supermarket right here. If you don't see, my drink is pretty fucking low, so. We will see what we can find. Got some food here. Some pasta. I would like to find a backpack. Maybe we can find a backpack. Here's some drink. It's kind of weird that you don't start with backpacks anymore. Oh my god, look how many there are. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I'm getting infected in real life. Okay. Oh shit. They're behind here too, and sounds like it. I'm gonna go ahead and drink real fast. Alright. Let's, um. Let's head to the fire station. <coughs> that would probably be our best bet right now. For a weapon. Other than this. Um. Shit. Alright, I think I'll make it. I mean, I don't think I have to be too persistent on these antibiotics. I think things will start looking probably a little funky on my screen. Oh, shit. 
it'd be cool if we could like tame the infection by like uh eating people or something like i don't know instead of like becoming a full zombie you just kind of hold back by eating people so it, like it makes your craving stop i don't know guess you would be kind of a full zombie then wouldn't you you kind of would be found some smoke grenades that i probably will never need we'll see if they distract zombies or if they don't because i know those do i just don't know about flares i thought they did but maybe they didn't unless it's night or something can you still do this Oh, you can still glitch through the glider. Okay. I actually think people will probably get pissed if they made it where you couldn't glitch through that ladder. So, uh, it's rather a good thing they left it there. <laughs> or people would probably get mad. So, now we're going to head to the hospital. Because I have tuberculosis. And I need to get uh, fixed. I need my lungs to be breathable. Alright. You know what? I probably realized that this does not have any game sound in it. I do apologize for that. I keep setting the wrong setting, but uh, I'll fix it in the next video. Probably doesn't matter too much to you guys anyways. Unless I'm getting shot at or something, of course, then it wouldn't matter. But I'm not going to get shot. We'll see how many people are on the server. Oh, it's just me right now. Alright. Let's, uh... To continue on, what we'll do is we'll go up here to the hospital, try to get some antibiotics, and then I'm going to actually quit the, the first episode because I got to go to work. I'm a working man. got to get ready for that good old factory job. I work in one of those, only less smokier. Alright. Shit, Cherno. You give me some frames from hell. Alright, we're coming up on it now. I, I don't know. From the patch so far, I haven't seen anything too uh, much of an overhaul. But I haven't seen anything that I don't like. Like that. I was like, oh, well that ruined the fucking game. Like, there's nothing like that so far. So, uh, that's good. But, you know, a lot of people quit playing Daisy Vanilla. There's still a lot, a lot of people play Origins or Breaking Point now. Those are like the two most popular mods i guess you would say and uh i think more people play origins and breaking point than uh vanilla it's kind of sad but uh because I, I really do enjoy vanilla sometimes oh yes they fixed it one shot on the windows thank you that's awesome before you had to put a whole clip in there yep see look this is how rare they made medical supplies now nothing spawns in the hospital they said they were going to make it super rare for medical supplies which kind of sucks which does suck actually it does suck a lot so not a big fan of being that rare because i'm gonna die but that's a little too rare i could see taking the boxes out but they still had a lot of shit on the floor that should be there that's not there so um i doubt the boxes are even over here sometimes medical boxes spawn in at these tents but um, doubt that if they took it out the hospital, they probably definitely took it out the, well, they got, what is this, some morphine? I'll take one morphine just in case we ever get in trouble. One morphine is good, just in case. But I need some antibiotics. And nothing in these tents. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles, so we're gonna have to make a trip to Electro and hope I don't get, become a zombie before I get there. Uh, although I will not be making that trip in this episode, I'll be making it in the next First Impressions episode. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below what do you think of Patch 1.7.7. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that beautiful subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.